Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench tutorial. In this session, we are solving for linear buckling analysis of a hollow rectangular column. We will start with double clicking on static structural. I will go to engineering data and double click on it. I will go to engineering data sources, general materials and select concrete. I will go back to project and update project. Now I will go to geometry, right click. New Design Modular Geometry I'll choose the units as millimeter XY plane look at I'll go to sketching and select rectangle Let me give the dimensions as 40 by 40. I will go to extrude and I'll give the depth as say 150 mm, that is the height of my column. Generate. Now I'll choose this face and create a new plane on it look at I'll again go to sketching and draw rectangle see I give the dimensions as 30 by 30 I'll just mark this distance such that it is exactly at the center. This will be 5 and 5. Again, I'll go for extrude. You can see this new sketch is selected. Apply. I'll change the operation to cut material by 150 mm and generate. So, this is my hollow rectangular column next I'll go to model and double click on it I'll go to mesh I'll choose the sizing as fine and update I'll go to static structural, insert, fixed at one end. See, I apply force on the other end. So, this is the face. Apply. I'll change vector to component. The direction I can see is Z direction. So, I'll apply a load of minus 1000 Newton. I'll go to solution, right click, insert, deformation total and I want to see the stress equivalent. Solve. We'll make one change here. The solid is still showing structural steel. I'll change it to concrete and solve it again. I can go to total deformation and this is my result. When I go to equivalent stress, I can see here the value is 2.41 megapascal. So this completes the static structural analysis part. Now since we are doing eigenvalue buckling analysis, I will drag this module up to solution. Next I will go to setup and double click on it. 
I'll go to analysis settings and change this mode to 3. So I want to see maximum modes of this body which is number 3. Next I'll go to solution and insert deformation total. This is for my first mode. I will select deformation total for the second mode and deformation total for the third mode. Now I'll go to analysis settings and this include negative load multiplier from program control I'll change it to no so that in my solution I don't have any negative multiplier. I'll solve now. We'll check the first deformation. We'll animate the result and see. You can see here the direction of motion. Next I'll see for deformation 2. This is another direction altogether. And this is my deformation 3. You can see here clearly. This is the third mode's effect on this body. So suppose if you have a column which is fixed at one end and on the top end if you apply a load then these are the three modes of deformation which will occur on the column. And the material for this column that I have chosen is concrete and this column is hollow rectangular. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to solve the linear buckling analysis for a hollow rectangular column. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.